Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Evan and today we're hopping to another episode of Madden 21's No Money Spent, you guys. Uh, today we are making a No Money Spent legend even better. Uh, this is a card I've been dying to get, so I'm super glad that he's going to be on the squad. We also have a few, I, uh, I wouldn't say abilities, but I have put some X factors on some players. I'm going to kind of go over that as well. So basically today, you know, we get that one player and I'm kind of going to go over some changes I've made to the lineup in like an ability standpoint and also think in a few episodes here or shortly on I'm going to be uh, starting physical chems and again reworking um, abilities to the way I want them. But uh, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you the new revamped Stefan Diggs. So as you guys are seeing on screen right now, uh, I did go ahead and get the Series Redux Stefan Diggs for over 500k and obviously powered him up. Putting in his Series Redux card to give us this Stefan Diggs card, 94 overall uh, in my lineup. His abilities you got, or his stats I should say, obviously 92 speed is really, really good. 89 jumping, 93 catching, also super solid with that 91 catch in traffic. Spectacular catch is 92, but, but the best thing is his route running. 94 short, 91 medium, 91 deep. He meets every single route running threshold, which is going to be insanely clutch. Obviously, we are sticking with Route Technician. Diggs has been absolutely balling for us with Route Technician on, you know, when he had like his not so high card or whatever. But um, yeah, this is the Stefan Diggs card. Like I said, this is a player I've been dying to get. 94, like I said, on our squad. So it's definitely awesome for him to be on the squad, but in a revamped way. Um, and then I also said that I do have some ability stuff to go over. So we're going to go ahead and check that out before I introduce the team. Um, so once it loads up and I can show you guys. Um, offensively, the superstars are the same. I'm uh, just going to take... This is more of like an X-Factor change today. Went ahead and put on double me on Terry McLaurin because he's kind of my deep ball guy. And since I don't have any abilities that kind of work for him right now, um, I said I, I just thought I might as well put double me on him because he's like the one guy I'm throwing deep shots to. And then defensively, you guys, I did kind of the same thing. Um, with my two corners, they don't really have abilities, although Byron Jones does have Acrobat. Um, Jair and Byron are kind of the two corners that don't necessarily, they aren't the two, like, stars. So I went ahead and put on universal coverage for both of these guys, the x Factors. So still got to kind of give them, you know, if, like, if they get a pick and their thing gets lit up, like, you don't want to throw at them. So uh, I'm also thinking about maybe putting Relentless on Bosa, but we will see. Uh, but looking at the squad in its entirety, starting offensively, you guys, looking at our quarterback, it is the man, Justin Herbert. And then running back, we got Raheem Mostert. Receiving core is absolutely stacked. Lazard, Diggsy, and Scary Terry. It's dangerous. Tight ends are Vernon Davis, Johnny Smith, and Hunter Henry. Offensive line is Lane Johnson, Dave DiCaprio, Brandon Linder, Joe Thune, and Trent Williams. Defensively, you guys, we got the Bosa brothers as our pass rushers from the right and left side. Defensive tackles are Leroy Glover and Linval Joseph. Corners are Denzel, Byron Jones, Jair Alexander, and of course, Antonio Camardi. Safeties, we got the man Darwin James, Megan Fitzpatrick, and Xavier McKinney. Linebacking core, we got Kenneth Murray, Sam Mills, Ryan Shazier, and Patrick Queen. And then special teams, we got the man Andy Lee, Harrison Bucker, and of course our kicker and punt returner, Henry Ruggs III. So with that being said, guys, we're going to actually hop into see to a brand new head-to-head -head seasons and hopefully get back to the playoffs for a second season in a row. And then obviously, if you guys are enjoying the content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, I'm, I'm grinding for you guys, so if you guys could just do that simple thing, it takes like three seconds, just go down real quick, click that, and yeah, like I said, it would mean the world. But we're going to go ahead and, like I said, hop into some head-to-head -head seasons and begin this new regular season. Hopping into the game, you guys. That is my opponent's team. Got that slot of mag, Steve Smith, which should be a problem, but we are at SoFi Stadium. I feel like we're always in SoFi for Head Dead Seasons game. I feel like I said this too much. I don't care, though. I love playing SoFi, but let's start off this brand new season with a W. There's absolutely no way this is real right now. We're starting a game off on offense. You guys heard me right. We're playing offense to start a game. It's about freaking time. We're starting off with one of my plays that should get Diggs open on a motion slant route, and he is most definitely open for a big time 19 yards to start off the game. I mean, is it just me, or is it, like, it, it's just awesome to finally start a game offensively, you guys, but after the big time play from uh, Diggs, we went to a run, nothing there. We got third down here, gonna hurry it up. Hopefully, Moster gets open on this. Uh, I think we're gonna put him on Texas route, and obviously, motion digs over. 
on a in route as well. We'll see what gets open. Okay, Lazard might be open. Oh, I kind of, yeah. For some reason, I thought I saw his user go over with Lazard. I, he stayed, he, he got lost in the pack, but whatever. Okay, it looks like my opponent is going to be in maybe Gun Bunch. The, like, it may be like his like primary offense, like he's obviously in Gun Bunch, but I don't know. He's running it. He just seems like someone, you know, Hot Route Master. It definitely seems like... He, he just seems like someone who's going to stick in it all game, but we do have second down and 10 here. He's going to the deep shot. Oh, that, that's, that's just Thank not you, open. That, my friend, where are you throwing? That's just, it's just not open. Yep, this has been a, a pretty bad start to the drive, but we have third and 20. I'm hoping for Lazard to get open on the corner route, assuming he is playing man coverage. I don't know if he is. I'm just going to dump that thing underneath to Diggs. Okay, I'm, I'm going to hurry up. I think I can easily make something happen out of this formation 100%, but we will see here. Going to put um, Mostert in a Texas route. Probably going to look at Lazard if he's open. I don't think he is. I should have plenty of people open. Okay. If I throw a... Wow. I just... I just... I feel like I had so many people open, and he's really going to six this. I, I don't know what I was doing there. Let, oh, yikes. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, clearly I'm trying to force too much stuff right now. So we're just going to play calm right now. I mean, it's a it's a head-to-head -head season game. I don't need to be forcing stuff, but... Okay, I should have digs. Wow, I just lagged unbelievably, and it's a pick? Okay, that that one, I, I don't think that one's on me, you guys. It's, I'll, I'll go play defense, but that one's not on me. <laughs> My opponent actually came out of the gun bunch. Not going to lie, I'm a little bit shocked by that, considering that he's been in it the entire game, but... I'm gonna put Shazier in a curl flat. Maybe to watch like a crossing route from Mark Andrews. Uh, it may be smarter to put him into a, into a hard flat, but we're not gonna stress it too much. It's actually, I think it was pretty well designed as we get a sack from. Oh, it's Joey Bolso, boys! We finally got the Bolsa sack! Alright, it's time to calm down. We have plenty of game in front of us. This guy offensively can't really do much, so as long as we can just score, we should be fine. As that crosser to Johnny Smith is wide open for an easy first. First and 10, we're coming out in our, like, slants formation. I'm just going to look at this drag underneath to Lazard. Yeah, he got stuck on his user. Someone should be open. I had Lazard open, but I'm just going to take off with Herbie. I playmaker Lazard upfield, and it faked his user out for an easy first down from the man Herbs. All right, we got third down and 15 here. Um, obviously, we're in field range, so just can't make any dumb mistakes because I still got to get some points on the board, uh, especially because he does get ball at halftime. But I think Scary Terry should be open wide open over the middle down the three yard line yeah we're gonna run some hurry up offense gonna switch it to a inside zone run for raheem Mostert. try and get this quick snap up against the three man d line front for an easy touchdown for number 31 let's go would you look at here the man is back in his good old gun bunch he doesn't know anything else besides this clearly but first and ten i think because he has dan marito there isn't much point in me having a quarterback spy so Chase is either going to be playing a curl flat or a hard flat, depending on where he goes to as well. Yeah, Denzel got cooked by Steve Smith. Yikes. Okay, so I think for the most part, he's just going to look for that Steve Smith route. And honestly, I'm pretty confident in my coverage, so I'm going to watch that just to make sure that's not what he goes to. Okay. Maybe I had to back off man coverage because he's, he's found two plays that's, that's cooked it. Man, this would be huge if the defense could, keep, could get a stop here on fourth and goal as he's... Almost doesn't snap it off with one second remaining on the play clock. I play the deep half, and it's not guarded. Honestly, I feel like my opponent didn't really do anything on that last drive. He found two kind of man beaters, and it works. Oh, scary Terry. You're playing cover three, and you let me attack the seam like that? Is it really going to be this easy? Come on now. Let's go, scary. But we will see what happens here on first and 10. Obviously, he's at my 44-yard line. Going to watch the underneath route to the running back. That one's not open, but he still clears the thing over the middle. God. Okay, so I could be wrong, but I think the main reason why he gets the stuff over the middle is because I'm paying too much attention to the running back. So, I think I'm going to kind of try and go away from the running back but that time he goes over the middle so that one i can't guard the running back and that thing is forced to minka fitzpatrick gets himself an easy interception returning it almost to the 25 yard line that's the way you start a half honestly i just cannot get knocked out of field goal range here because it is a long third down so getting sacked would definitely knock us out and make our chances of getting something on fourth much harder as we dump the slant off to digs unfortunately couldn't turn up field we're gonna have to take our three though 
Just please nobody get burned. That's all I ask is that nobody gets burned. I got stuck on my D lineman. I'm user rushing him. He tests Mark Ant or Derwin James, and it's incomplete. I think I'm going to stick to watching the middle and Steve Smith because that's what he's gone to most of the time. And I've just been paying attention to the running back too much. Is that? Oh my, he goes to a quick out for the first. Dang. Honestly, you have to trust your defense to make a play at some point. So I'm bringing the house and playing man coverage. Like I, like his kind of big plays that has set him up to his scoring drives have been from man coverage. Peters, as like I said, you gotta trust the defense as Patrick Queen gets us a sack. Wait, that was, that was third. That is awkward. I thought that was fourth down, but fourth and 16, he obviously knows that we're in man coverage now. Um, I'm going to be blitzing five instead of six and using Shazier. Going to be watching, you know, the deep pulses. That's exactly what he goes to and I just went. I thought he was going to throw it a little bit later and once again converting on a fourth down. All right, he's back into his um, his gun bunch. I'm, I'm not really sure how to play this because with this short of distance, I kind of have to watch the running back, but he actually attacks the flat. We're about to hit the two-minute warning, so we're going to have to start playing aggressive here. I'm going to be blitzing him again. And I'm going to be watching this um, this post route better this time. Oh, my Denzel, pick it off. Once again, my user play was terrible, but that should have been a pick. I, I want to keep Jair in coverage, although I'm not really sure where he would exactly play because there's not like a curl flat or anything. So he is going to be blitzing. I'm going to be watching the post route. He actually lobs that thing. I'm going to try and swat that. It's overthrown, and instead of taking his field goal, we're getting the ball back to go down and win the game. A minute 23 and two timeouts. That should be, I think that's a good amount of time. As we're going to actually start this thing off with a run. Raheem Moster going down the seam. No, I'm not dumb. I'm not going to be scoring. I'm going to win this game. I'm playing smart. We're actually going to turn on two clock. Go straight to another inside zone play. Man, what? This, we have been set up to at least get three points. As once again, Raheem Moster with a big time gash down to the 12. Three seconds to go. We are ice from our own, or my opponent's eight yard line. I'm gonna actually let it sit for a bit because we did have a little bit of a lag spike. All right, here we go, boys. Can we get a game winner that should be right down the middle? Harrison Butker puts it right down the seam for a big time W. You know, sometimes people just have a bad first half. You throw three picks, just like my boy Brock Purdy. I still love him, but he did not have a good, he did not have a good first half last Saturday. But it's all about how you bounce back, throwing three picks in the first half, still finding a way to win 20 to 17, starting off this season 1 and 0. Well, that the first half was definitely it was definitely shaky. Not not gonna lie, it's not the way you want to start off a game. But like I said, it's all about how you bounce back. We got ourselves a W to start it off, which is obviously incredible. And the even more incredible thing is we got the man Digsy for a long, long while with an even better card. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button for me. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Right next to the subscribe button is that bell notification. Make sure to hit that to be notified for all future Nobody Spent episodes. And with that being said, you guys, it's been your boy and I'm out. Peace out, you guys.